guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a haul follow-up. I get asked a lot of questions about all the things that I haul, all the things that I purchase. Did I like it? Did I not like it? And oftentimes I try and mention the things that are my favorites, obviously my monthly favorites, and I also try and mention things that I just really did not like. But there's a lot of things that fall in that gray area, whether I, you know, I liked them, but they just didn't end up in my favorites for one reason or another, or I didn't feel passionately enough about them to be like, this is terrible, do not get this. So anyway, I thought I would talk about a few things that sort of stuck out that I've actually developed an opinion about. Uh, so if you're interested, then just keep on watching. All right, so the first thing that I just wanted to mention is this Reiki skinny mirror. I don't want to blind you. Um, but it is this guy, and you can see my window, look at my window. Um, <laughs> and I hauled this when I went to the makeup show in Las Vegas, and I did a dedicated video to this mirror. Um, and I really liked it, I recommended it, but I thought, you know what, it's a, it's a gadget, and I had just gotten it. So I think what's really important, especially in terms of electronic gadgets, is well is it still gonna work in two months three months or whatever so that was in august we're in november now so it's been about three months this guy is still going strong i love this mirror i just love how light it is it goes in a stand it's just really easy you turn it on you turn it off you can lower or or raise the brightness of the led lights around the mirror and um, you can connect your phone to it and you can take pictures by hitting a button at the bottom here let me actually hold it upside down um, there's like a button here that you can hit and it's just a really handy mirror I just absolutely love it the charge on this they say lasts um, I think in the pamphlet it says like five hours since August I've only had to charge it once it's only gone dead on me once and I use it every single day so it's just awesome and it comes with that magnifying mirror which my husband loves so he'll come in here he'll snag the magnifying mirror stick it on it magnetizes to the front he'll turn on the led and he'll see like you know when guys shave there's always patches that they miss and he hates that so he'll you know he'll shave and then he'll come in here and take a close look and then go back in if he has to so this is this is very family friendly and i just I just absolutely love it. So the Reiki Skinny Mirror by Glamcore. I'll link everything down below. So next up is the Cover FX, um, what is this called? <laughs> Perfect Highlighting Palette. I hauled this recently and here it is. It's the six pan palette. I believe it's exclusive to the Cover FX site and to Ulta. I have not seen this on Sephora. Um, and I decided to get this one because Becca had come out with one that was similar, I felt like. Um, it had a lot of like similar tones to them. Um, but I had a few of the Becca powders already and I don't have any of the Cover FX powders. So I decided to go for this one. This one was also less expensive. It's $39 versus the Becca, which I believe is $54. I really like this palette. I've been using it often uh, for highlighting. I really like um, this shade up here, which is rose gold. Um, this one, which is golden peach, and this one, which is celestial. The others, like this one is prism, it has like a duochrome to it, so I don't use it that often, but blossom and gilded are a little bit deep for me in terms of highlighters, so I'll use this sort of as a blush, I'll use this sort of to accent bronzer if I want to, if I want to go there. Um, but I went ahead and swatched them for you. So from left to right we have blossom, prism, Rose Gold, Golden Peach, Celestial, and Gilded. So these are the three that I like to use as highlighter, blush, bronze, and this one just for fun. So I just wanted to give this palette a big thumbs up. I really, really like it. I love the shades that are available. Um, I love the texture. They're really creamy. They blend out nicely. They're really great highlighters. So I'm glad I got this. So another thing that I hauled quite some time ago, I don't ex remember exactly when, I think maybe in August. So these are the Becca Lush Lip Color Balms, and I got it in two shades. And to be perfectly honest, I bought them for the packaging because I love um, Loose Sight lipstick packaging. And I just love these guys. These are like the great just throw it in your bag kind of like lip product. They are um, like tinted balms, maybe a little bit, a little bit more than just a tinted balm, but they're, they just go on really, really nicely. They're very nourishing. So I purchased two colors. This is Chai Creme and this is Almond Fraise. I just really like them. Great texture, 
great formula. They're not long lasting. You know, they're they're definitely more of a creamy, balmy type of formula, but they're just really nice. And I definitely wore this a lot when the weather was warmer, but this is just, it's like one step up from like a tinted balm. So if you just want a little bit more, I think these are awesome. They're just super, super easy. You kind of can't go wrong. It's one of those things you don't really need a mirror for them. Um, so yeah, I just love the ease of these and I love the packaging. I love this like loose sight packaging. It's so, it's just cool. God, I'm so thirsty today. The next thing that I've been loving and I don't know why, I'm like kind of surprised, but I just, I love it. I heard great things about it and I bought this when it was on sale at Sephora during that weekly wow, that you know, sale that they announce every Thursday. Anyway, this is the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. So you get these great um, like bronzer contour colors and then you get these great highlighting um, eye colors. You can obviously use whatever you want for wherever you want. Um, but I've been loving this sculpting powder. That's what I have on my face today. I use, I've been using it actually a lot to um, sculpt out my face. And yeah, and the eyeshadows are really lovely. It's just been, I don't know, it's just been sitting on my vanity and I just keep reaching for it. And it's really great. The powder is super pigmented. Um, so when I first dipped into um, this desert, contouring shade. I had like way too much on my brush, but it blended out really, really nicely. And I was like, I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, it also, it smells like cocoa. Not my favorite. Not that I hate that scent, but I just, I don't want to smell like food. I don't want my face to smell like food. So I don't know. You may like that. You may not like that, but just keep that in mind. But I am like really digging this palette. So yeah, the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. And then the next thing I want to mention, I hauled actually very recently, but this is the Kat Von D number 50 brush. This is the brush that came out with her Glimmer eyeshadow set. So this is meant to pick up those metallic-y shades that are really hard to pick up, um, the ones that you should probably use your finger for. Now, I really like this brush. This brush definitely picks up those kind of metallic, uh, glittery shades much better than any other brush that I have. Um, I don't think it's better than your finger. Um, I don't think it's the same as your finger. Your finger, I think, will always be the best tool for those, but this is not bad. If you want to not use your finger and get a decent kind of application of those kinds of shades, I would recommend this brush. It's very, very nice. So now I have two things that I just feel kind of like lukewarm about. Um, I don't dislike them. I don't love them. I like them and I use them, um, but I don't think that I'm going to repurchase or I don't think that there's anything too special about them. So the first one is the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel Eye Patches. Again, these are fine. I keep them in the fridge. If my eyes feel really puffy, I'll throw them on. I think the coolness helps more than anything else. Um, but these gel patches, there's like, there's actually so much of the essence in here, which is really great. At first I was like, oh, this is awesome. Like they really weren't cheap with the, with the essence, but you put it on your eyes and it just, unless you're laying down, they just start to like slide <laughs> down your face. So, I, you know, usually I'll, I'll wake up and I'll put them on. And so I'm kind of, you know, walking around my house. I'm getting my coffee, I'm doing the dishes, I'm, you know, I'm doing some stuff. And so they'll just start to slide down and that's really annoying to me. Um, and so now I have to, when I take out a patch, I'll kind of, kind of like wipe it along the side of the canister to kind of get some of the goo off and then put it on. And that helps, but, um, I don't know. That's just kind of annoying to me. I wish they would stay put. So I feel like maybe these patches need to be, uh, thinner, um, thinner in texture and that way they won't be so heavy, um, and, and slide down. So that's my only issue. The other thing that I feel lukewarm about are the Pat McGrath um, Permagel Ultra Eye Pencils. Sorry, that's not the full name. Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencils. And I got uh, four colors. I have Extreme Black, Black Coffee, Shade, and then I have one of their glitzy ones, which is Blitz Brown. This is the one that has like glitter in it. These pencils are, are nice. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They go on very smoothly. Um, they're very pigmented. Before they set down, you can blend them out a little bit, but they're kind of like any other eye pencil that I have and like. Like, I really am a big fan of the Ardency In Monster 
eyeliners. Um, I have that in black and also in, I think they call it coffee also, but the dark brown color. Um, that pencil actually, I feel like um, when that sets down, that does not move. That does not move at all. That does not budge. Um, when I tight line with these pencils, it tends to transfer. I guess when I blink, it transfers down here and it kind of gives me panda eyes a little bit. Um, but if I wear them anywhere else, they're absolutely fine. If I'm just lining my eyes, if I'm using them on my lower lash line, um, I don't put eyeliner in my waterline often, um, but I did once with these and it was fine. It's just when I tight line. It's just when I kind of go under my lashes on my upper lid um, that they, it transfers a little bit when I blink. But that is actually pretty common to all eyeliners that I've used. The monster one, the Art and Sea In monster one, I feel like as long as I let it set and do its thing, that eye pencil does not transfer ever anywhere. Um, so again, I have nothing against these Pat McGrath pencils, but I just don't think that they're anything terribly special. So I've got a few things that did not work out for me. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift uh, Pencil. So this is the one that has the angled tip, which is fine. Um, and it also has uh, the spoolie at one end, which is fine. So what I don't like about this is the shape product, which is like this powder product that comes out on the sponge tip applicator. Um, you can load it back up by sticking it back into the holder here. And then you're supposed to kind of glide it underneath your eyebrow and it's supposed to, you know, do that highlighting thing. This shade is like way too dark. So here is the shape powder. And you can see how it's like, it's too dark. It's very, very dark. It's darker than my skin color, so it has no highlighting effect. Um, and it also, it comes out really powdery. So you kind of have to, I don't know, you kind of have to like wipe it away, or I try and wipe it in this thing, but it's very small. Anyway, I just, I don't know, it's, it's messy and I just, I just don't like it. So the last two things that didn't work out for me, I actually had to return. So um, if you guys watched my, was it a haul video? I think it was a haul video. Um, my, yeah, yes, my friends and family uh, Sephora haul video. I purchased the Natasha Denona five pan limited edition holiday palettes and one of the shadows just came out. <laughs> um, it just fell out of the pan. And I had heard from a few people that their shadows were shrinking. So I just decided to go ahead and return those. I just didn't want in, you know, in a couple months to see all of my shadows just sort of shrinking and, and acting weird and doing weird things. So I hope she fixes the formula because from, you know, from the swatching that I did, they looked absolutely beautiful. I mean, they were gorgeous. Um, but I returned those a ways back. I bought the Hourglass Confession lipsticks. Those are the ones that come in the refillable, like really sleek gold packaging, gorgeous. I did not like that formula. It goes on very thick, almost like the Pat McGrath. Very thick, very smooth. However, within 15, 20 minutes, it dries down and it's incredibly uncomfortable. It like, you can really feel the lipstick on your lips, which I do not like. Um, and it just dried my lips out. So I think I had purchased like one or two shades, um, but I ended up returning those. If you have dry lips, I don't recommend those. So those are some of the things that I wanted to mention from recent hauls. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if there are any other products that I've mentioned um, in my haul videos that I haven't mentioned today or in my favorites or whatever. Or you're just curious what my thoughts are. Let me know down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video.